Hi, I'm Brad. Had a few people ask me about this plugin, so I want to run through uh, the details of it with you real quick. First of all, this is a free plugin, um, so just um, remember that. Uh, <laughs> we made it for a client site, and that's what it was intended for. Um, I figured I'd give it away because a few other people were looking for a solution as well. Okay, so let's run through it real quick. Uh, on the description tab, that's where I got the border at. If you want media in there, you can pick an image. You can pick a self-hosted video or like I'm about to put this video up here, you can pick a YouTube video. Now, uh, you go through there and you add your description, your text, your whatever images, whatever else you want to put in there. Now, if you've got disclaimers and rules, this is where you would put that. You can have it be a link or just a simple pop-up like I'm sure you may have seen. Um, and from there, you go to the design tab, and that's where you can choose how you want your contest form to lay out. Uh, you can put the media, which is your image or your video, on top, uh, the description, or any other way you want it. Now, if you don't like the design of this one that you're looking at, guess what? No one else in this household likes my design either. I'm not going to have my feelings hurt. So feel free to change the headline color to whatever fits you, your site, your design the best. Uh, if you want to change a different font, that's not a problem either. Pick a default font or any of the Google fonts you want to use as well. Uh, change up the description color. Pick another font down there for the description. And you can choose your alignment and all that. Then go down to the bottom where you've got your background options. And you can select those as well. Over in the settings, uh, there you can pick if you want it on Twitter, Facebook, Google, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Uh, you can display the name field. That's what's going to toggle the, the first and last name field that you saw there. Uh, you can make it required. I didn't. Again, I'm just putting this out there for everybody to have. Uh, display the referral link. <clears throat> That's the one that pops up, that little uh, referral link. You can uh, shorten it with uh, a Google API key. Didn't put anything else in there. Um, this right here is going to display that little countdown. Uh, remember that for in a second. I'm going to show you something. Uh, there's your button text. Now, down here you can determine what you want it to say on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Now, this is the fun part. The entries and the winners. I just set this up to come from an email address that we stuck on this domain real quick. Uh, thanks from Brad. Send a confirmation email. Now, double opt-in, what is that about? Well, I have chosen to just stick these on the site or, or, or not, let me rephrase that. I'm not gonna go through and set up a MailChimp or an Aweber, a campaign monitor, or a get response for just putting this out there, but you can. So, uh, once you've set up your MailChimp, Aweber, campaign monitor, whatever you've got, you can have it be double opt-in, uh, and then there's some more selections right there. If you want everyone to have maybe enter for two chances, you can change the number of entries per referral right there. Uh, the number of winners total, that's what goes in that field. Now, if you want to automatically select a winner when that, um, when that timer runs out, then you can do that as well. And if you've never used random.org, it will automatically just go through and randomly so that it's you know completely unbiased pick a winner for your contest um, and you can select that right there as well there you can set your time zone and then the last part is the publish tab real simple just a short code the live preview will let you look at it and in the preview here you may have to drag it out make it a little bit bigger uh, to see everything there, but that's fine. And then the last tab is the dashboard. Let me push pause real quick. There we go. I can't quite show you the uh, the total here of everything, but you can manually pick a winner if you want to. You can randomly pick a winner or stop the contest. The other thing you can do is, let's say you've got a self-hosted email client or something like that. You can also export these, uh, all of your entries, all of your emails, people, things like that, 
Uh, but again, I, I can't show you that page because I don't want to, uh, you know, throw all the emails out there for everybody in the world to see. But uh, anyways, there's the plugin. I hope you enjoy it. Um, share it. And here in a minute, when I get uh, get a second, I will just start uh, manually just firing out uh, a bunch of uh, winners to everybody. But you got to. I'm only going to share this with people who are willing to share it with others. So be sure that you've shared it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google Plus, whatever you want to. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. My name is Brad. Have a great day. Bye bye.